opportunity for us to uh, dwell for too long. If you haven't watched last episode yet, go ahead and watch it. Um, it's a pretty good episode. It's quite a long one. Hopefully today's is as long, maybe even longer, with a playoff final. Uh, without further ado, let's go and show Rangers. Rangers? Reading? That we are no pushover. Uh, I'm actually not going to put Will Bring even on the bench today. Danny Parrish is going to sit on the bench. And I believe that is going to be my lineup. Muir, Fleming, Medley, Osu and McPherson down the left, Bradley and Smart down the right, Hyatt and Maxwell play centre midfield, and O'Rourke is up top. Reading were a good side. Steve Evans is their manager. George Puskas is the striker. Reagan Paul I recognise. Joe Nussel. The goalkeeper is number 48, so hopefully that's not their first club, first choice one. Uh, this is an important match for us. Make sure you put a good performance in. I could slap Danny Pat at uh, Fidel O'Rourke and it would motivate him. You can make a real statement. I wouldn't even tell you. Uh, how important I need him to perform. Of course he's... Uh, this is a team game. It is a team game. I love these little graphics. I really do. Connor Hazard could be the difference for us to be fair. We brought him in late January after our goalkeeper was calamitous. And he's been brilliant. He really has been. Come on. I don't want that stats here. Here I'll look at Reading's formation. But first we'll drop a little just a little, little encourage. Not encouraging the first leg. If we can get away from here, maybe a 1 2 0 win, that is outstanding against Reading. Or even in, I take a 0 0. I'm not sure if away goals actually count in this uh, in this game. Osu's picked up a knock. Go, Mac. Oh! <gasps> Oh, how have you put that over? That's an open goal. He scored a screamer in the last game, which you would have seen, but oh, he should have put that away. He should have put that away. No doubt about it. Right. Uh, should I say I'm not happy? Because these two are nervous. Yeah, I'll say it. Not happy. He went that bad. He still improved. Oh, Max Muir is still nervous. Max? Marquez. Marquez Muir is still nervous. I recognise that crate guy. Uh, let's encourage him again. I might shout at... I really hope that's just a knock. Because left back is one of our weakest spots. Oh, Scott. His confidence is high from that last game. But you can't be shooting from there. Right, let's take Ossie off. I don't think it's worth the risk. Duncan Miller can play there. I don't usually like to. Um, and oh no, Radoni can come on a right wing. I guess they've completely shut O'Rourke down. That's not ideal. Let's bring him off for. Let's bring Danny Parish on. I think Danny's going to be leaving us at the end of the year, so it makes makes sense to give me give him a last opportunity to take us through. Uh, I'm not happy with that. Nil nil. That's. What a boring first game with the highlights. Oh no, he's damaged his heel. Oh, do we risk him? Out for two weeks. We'll get through the next game. So he'll get through the next game. But then he'll be out for three to four weeks. Is it worth risking him to then not have him for the final if we get through? Um, right, let me consider it whilst we go to this press conference. Another clean sheet. Uh, all the defence did a bit. I worked so hard in training ground. You can see that paying off. Yep. You have to be pleased. He's such a good player. What are the chances of ha Connor Hassel becoming a permanent member of the squad? He's shown every day what he can do and any club would want to play over his calibre. Yes. I actually saw the other day that Connor Hazard played for Celtic 
made his debut for Celtic and won a penalty shootout, which is really cool. Eye catching, uh, t- yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, do we right? Let's look at our options at left back. So, without Osu, it's Jake Garrett at left back. I think Jake Garrett can do that job, I believe he can. I'm going to rest the entire squad though for a couple of days before this match. Rest you for two days. I think we're leaving to physio. He's been brilliant all season. He doesn't need an extra injury that could get worse. Considering off of Hazard, we do have in his contract an optional... No, we don't have a con... Oh no, his contract's up in like a month, so I could just sign him for free maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll sign him for free. We'll see, we'll see. Extra gate receipts, new gate receipts record, breaking the previous receipts from a game against Reading impressive we've had lots of rumours of takeovers but I don't think a takeover a takeover isn't realistic for this club so I, I really hope it doesn't happen disappointed with you Will Grigg that's a statement I never thought I'd say everyone loves it Mark Noble is impressed by that mate you don't, you're not even here permanently he is so good though oh those mentals could be Wow, 19 leadership, 20 teamwork. Oh my, do I sign Mike Noble? 37 year old Mark Noble, how much does he want? Oh no, yeah, never mind. I am interested though, I am interested. Bobby Copping has been set for release. I'm actually going to make them an offer of zero pounds. Let's see if we can bring in Bobby Copping permanently. That'd be a nice little nice little backup signing. Bobby Copping is accepted. Fringe player. I don't really want to pay him over like 750. Would you take like 800? 850? 900. Nope, Bobby Copping is being a bitch. Right, so I just saw Vector is fit for this game. So I think he needs to come on the bench for Danny Parrish. And McCulloch needs to come on for Blake. I think Blake, because I offered Blake a contract and he wanted like two grand. And he's 29 so I think he, I think he's leaving at the end of the season too. Right, am I happy with this? No, I think Proctor starts over Muir today. Um, the rest seems to have worked. Duncan Miller gets to start on right wing instead of Bobby uh, Bradley Smart. No, Vector gets to start on right wing. Does it say forty-five minutes? Yeah. Well, if we can get a good forty-five minutes out of Vector, then. Then we're happy with that, but that's it. This is the team we're going for. It's tense because I know we can beat them. We did draw with them away, and I didn't check. Oh, let me. Is it too late to check? Rules. Uh, playoff rules. Um, penalty shootout scores are still a level. Yeah. Okay. So no away goals. Go out and give the fans some performance. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Oh, they're all loving it. And I have faith in you. What a team talk. Everyone's come up Millhouse there. Uh, these things happen to us up to the squad to make sure we don't miss them too much. Struggle to entertain as much... What? Struggle to entertain as much as the club would like? Mate, we've fucking finished sixth in the league. I'm keen to put on a real show. Uh, I don't need to talk about this so close. To... I don't need to talk about that. What oh, dickhead. got a good side out but we also got a good side out four new gens in there that's pretty cool look at the Dorking fans Dorking fans are rocking right let's go let's just straight away encourage I don't know what the score is currently in Blackpool Coventry I fancy my chances against either of them to be fair we just need to get past Reading very very nothing game again so far yeah Nothing from that game. 
Uh, we just have to win that tonight. Let's go out and do it. When the bad just improve. When the bad just improve. Right, everyone is positive. I'm going to go out and I'm going to encourage the entire squad again. Why is Medley frustrated by the feedback? The only one. You're the only one. Wait, what's happened? Damaged foot for Dave Fleming. No, he's fine. He's fine. That vector is being stinky, so bring up Bradley Smart there. Uh, O'Rourke struggling again. Alex Samuel. And uh, we'll use our final sub with Jack Rodoni purely because I think we might. Is this a corner for us? No, it's a corner for Reading. No! 84th minute! Right, we have to score, we have to, obviously. Let's go very attacking. Come on, free kick. Oh, 93rd minute and we've just blazed it over the crossbar. There's been two highlights this game. Oh. And we are out of the playoffs in the semi-finals. With the underdogs, you gave it your best shot. Good effort, lads. Yep, great effort. Uh, I'm pleased with the performance and felt we deserved more. We did, we did deserve more. We absolutely did. But Blackpool bested Coventry there. Oh, it's, it's, it's disappointed, but I don't feel. I don't, I'm not too upset about it. Dave Fleming's out for two weeks, brilliant. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. But yeah, Noble's in on, on trial again. Let's attend this press conference. You're impressive unbeaten against Reading. I couldn't care less about that so-called record. Uh, oh, I don't really want to answer that because he's leaving. I don't like to talk about players. Everything with uh He's a special, special talent. Let's just big him up. Uh, Fabio's a fantastic footballer. Yeah, we're approaching the point where we want to decide. Uh... We've had some shocking decisions against us. Yeah, let's blame the refs. Arch Proctor made a pretty horrendous mistake. He'll learn from this, come back from that, determined more than ever. Yeah, wow. Um, let's, well, let's see who, who's coming down. Wickham, Barnsley, Walsall. We finally get to play against Walsall. Do they still have Sa do they have Sam Perry? Is Sam Perry still there? Uh, Sam Perry? He's still Joseph Perry. Sam Perry is still at Walsall. <laughs> Wanted by loads of League Two sides. Oh bless him. Mark Noble joining the club. It's up to him. We know how good he can be. Right, let's sim forward to our end of season review, wherever that is. Here it is. Let's look at the uh, the signings. Signing of the s disappointed with the deal to bring in Will Grigg on loan. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Um, Connor Brees, C. Happy with that. He's playing well in Wales. Zek Medley. That's a C, really. Wage is too high. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. He's got four goals. Connor Hazard. Please bring him on loan. I mean, Scott High was a game changer in the midfield. Are they happy with Paul Lossu? They are. £9,000. Is there anyone they're actually happy with? Dave Fleming was good. Fuming with Will Grigg. Yep, understandable. Uh, Jake Garrett. There's only a C with Jake Garrett. Yep, Rob Davies, who we paid 90 quid for. <laughs> Vector had quite a serious injury, so I, I'm not expecting too much from him this season. Van Kooten was pointless because as soon as we signed him he agreed to go to a different club uh, kind of barren I mean doesn't play and Joe Hanna came on twice and that, that was it <laughs> wow how about transfers out how are they happy with are they happy with Bradley Smart yep and then Pete went for free Jake Scrimshaw we got 40k for which is buzzing disappointing that Michelle Parker went for 7k 
Right, content with that and pleased with that. Okay, whatever. Got an A. Uh, Fidel O'Rourke didn't finish top goal scorer, I don't think. I think he did. FA Cup, yeah, well. Yeah, unlucky to finish. Well, I know we did really well to finish sixth. We're unlucky to uh, sort of not win in the playoffs. Next year, I think I'm going to try and aim for the playoffs again. Uh, seeing as I know we can do it, and provided we can get a good, a good transfer window going, which I might live stream. I might live stream the transfer window. Who knows? Who knows? I probably won't. Here is the moments to remember. Our biggest win was five 0 away at Cambridge, and the match to remember was a four one spanking of Wigan at their ground. And oh, Sam Hot Scott. Is Scott High, isn't it, or is it Sam High? Scott High, yeah. With that goal of the season at the end of the season against Bolton. That screamer. Uh, so our sponsorship's down. Our broadcast revenue's huge. We are in the positive. We have we have made a decent amount of money this year. Uh, top shirt sales. I'm surprised that Samuel and Vector are there. Not surprised that O'Rourke, he's going to get a better number next year, and McPherson is also going to get a better number. Actually, McPherson 21. I like I like McPherson 21. And O'Rourke, yeah, uh, maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll keep it. This is our team of the season. Connor Hazard, who only joined in January. The Lick, Proctor and Medley. So neither of our uh, liberos made it into the team of the year. Or see at left back. Vaughan at right back. I'm surprised that, that that's, a, that's a very, very weak spot for us. High and Blake in midfield. McPherson on the left, Smart on the right, and obviously O'Rourke up top. Fans player of the season is O'Rourke. Young player of the season, O'Rourke. Uh, signing of the season, Zach Medley. Goal of the season, Scott High. See, I would say that my player of the season is Andy McPherson, because without him... We weren't going to win many games. He was instrumental in changing games as well. He didn't just score and assist. He got involved. He made tackles. He's only five foot one as well, so getting involved that much is, is dangerous for him. The lick is our bastard. 12 yellow cards in the season. Uh, Barry Fuller's still our oldest player. Transfer record received 400k from Blackburn for Bradley Smart. And more players inducted into our best 11. Archie Proctor. Jack Blake got put in. He's alongside Sam Perry, who we'll face next year. Archie Proctor. Where is Fabio Lopez? Is he signable? He could be signable. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Chase Prize, obviously, my assistant. Yeah, this is a good... Team of the year, or t best team of all time. Good season, fantastic season, all round. Uh, they want me to play defensively solid football. You know, what, I'm just, I'm going to try and take it out again. <sighs> yeah, no, they're not having it, are they? Whatever. Squad dynamics: Barry Fuller, O'Rourke, and Proctor are our team leaders. All right, let's discuss what we need to do next year. I think we stay stay out comfortably. I'd expect a little more realism. Oh, you're leaving. Fuck off. Uh, May. I think we can achieve what I said if everyone performs at their best. Uh, although I respect those of you who don't agree with me. Uh, once you return from your holidays, yeah, fine. I've saved it somewhat. Everyone's reserved. It's fine. It's not a calamitous end of season report. And that is the end of the season. Thank you all for joining me on this League One adventure. And narrowly, narrowly, narrowly missing out on getting promoted to the championship at the first time of asking. Uh, our run of uh, promotions stops here. Um Admittedly, it will it will be a, an upward line again, but it doesn't have this little green dot. Um, yeah, 
I mean, I'm proud of what the the team's done this year. Now the rebuild is properly on. A lot of players are going to be leaving us this year. Uh, let's just have a look at the contracts. So we're going to be having Jack Blake's going to be leaving, Parrish leaving, Samuel leaving. Yeah, so three big ones there. Tizard and Lindley are both going to go too. Yeah, it's it's a rough time out here. I'm actually going to set them all for release now. Yep, they've all gone. And Tizard, Tizard's going to be set for release too. It's painful. It's painful to let these guys go. But you've got to do what you've got to do. And looking looking forward to it. We're uh, we're gonna be aiming for a new right back, right wing back. Uh, maybe I think Fabio Good's gonna play a lot of back football at left wing back next year. Maybe another centre midfielder could work. Is Fleming that good of a centre midfielder? No, he's a libero. He's a libero. Yeah, so we've got Fleming and uh, McCulloch are both learning to play the Barrow. There's no need to change that. We are going to need a backup striker, maybe two. Left wing is a weak point as well. Right wing, we're fun. right wing, we're probably okay with. Yeah, leave me to work on it, and I'll see you next season. Mm -hmm.